about time. Evening, ma'am. My name is Officer Jeffries. I know who you are, Jerry. You can drop the cop routine. Come on now, Roseanne. Have some respect. I understand you've been hearing some strange noises tonight. You stopped as soon as I hung up the phone. Do you know which direction it was coming from? Not too sure, really. At first, it seemed like it was coming from down below near the ravine. Then I heard something running through my driveway. Hooves. From a deer, maybe. I don't know. So I went to my reading room to see what the hell was out there. I could have swore it was an injured animal. It's making these grunting noises. That's when I dialed you. But then, I saw these yellow eyes just staring at me. And they were staring a long time. And that's pretty much it. I fell asleep. Woke up about an hour later and left. What about the deer? What about it? In your report? I know what my report says. I just don't see how that's relevant. Because I deem it relevant? Uh, what happened to your windshield? It says here your patrol car needed a new windshield at the county motor pool following your visit with Miss Barnes. I don't remember. Sheriff, sure, we're just trying to put the pieces together. Nobody's accusing you of anything. I am. You think you can come in here and cast the same aspersions on me you did back then and expect different results? Sheriff, sure, Tell me what really happened. Did you see her? Did you see what was left of her? nor did I have anything to do with her death. Sheriff. Please. What happened when you woke up?
look like an ammo gun to it. And I looked around for a short while longer, and then came back here and filed my report. And what time would you say you arrived back at the office? <sighs> Two, 2.15, give or take. How long would you say that drive back was? Oh, I don't know, half an hour maybe. 20 minutes. We timed it. There used to be a gas station at the base of Miner's Mountain, correct? Well, we recovered footage taken from a nearby traffic cam of you there that night washing what looked to be blood off of your windshield. I clipped the deer on my way out. Where were you from 7.30 night before last until 10 a.m. yesterday morning? Wait, what? I was at home with my wife. I came into work around 9.30. Do you normally come in around that time? No, I overslept. Hmm. It was my anniversary day before yesterday. I took my wife to dinner at Miner's Kitchen and had a little more to drink than I should have. I gotta ask, what's up with the whole Miner thing? As I understand it, this town hasn't done anything of the sort since the 1920s. Back in the day, the Atlantic Coast Line Railroad attempted to build a tunnel through the mountain. It didn't work. A shaft gave way and trapped the miners inside. Out of respect for the men and women who lost their lives, the community dubbed it... Miner's Mountain. There you go. Did anyone make it out? Gentlemen, I'm done here. Sir, I understand this could be Have a good evening. It's hunting season. I've got poachers to contend with. The body of an out-of-state woman was found yesterday morning about 10 a.m. She was severely beaten and her head was removed from her body. Very much like... Ms. Barnes. She was found about a half mile from where Roseanne was murdered. You are very familiar with that area, aren't you, Sheriff? Hmm. It must have been tough back in the day. Being the only black deputy in the department and all. Wait, excuse me? You know, everybody looking down on you. You trying to figure out where you fit in. I get it. It was tough. But look at you now. You and your people have come a long way. Get the hell out of my office. Dan. I'm not trying to get ill with him. I'm just trying to level with him, brother. Get the fuck out of my office. Oh, you want to hit me? You want to hit me? Is that what you did to her? She said something and pissed you off and you want to knock the living dog shit out of her. Huh? When all you want is a little bit of respect and she put you down. Hell, that would have pissed me off too. I've been there. I'd have done the same damn thing you showed her, didn't you? You showed her and that girl what happens when they don't give Sheriff Jerry Jeffries a little fucking respect. Dan, that's enough. You better lawyer up, you son of a bitch. Like the sheriff said, it's hunting season. some strange noises tonight. It's all these yellow eyes staring at me. And they were staring a long time before it let out this unholy roar. It was not fit for the earth. You want to hit me? Is that what you did to her? But you showed her, didn't you? Sheriff, what happened at Miner's Mountain? Hey, hon. I didn't hear you come home. It's late. Come to bed.
have to tell you something. Do you remember the Barnes case? I saw something that night. I was driving down the mountain and I had to slam on the brakes. Someone was standing in the middle of the road. And there she was. She didn't seem human. It was more like an animal. And it just stared at me for the longest time. Eventually, she left. I know what to do. I just sat in my car for nearly an hour. Never seen anything like. I abandoned Roseanne Barnes, Viv. And then that woman. And because of that, she lost her life. I can never take that back. Jerry, every morning you go out there and you put your life on the line because you're a good man. Nothing is going to change that. I thought that for 20 years. Whatever it is, you ain't gonna find it tonight. I'm gonna bring Lucy in. <laughs>